Well, you mentioned you mentioned football fans, didn't you? That, it, Martin O'Neill is one person who I would never ever have a bad word said against. I ha- and, and I'm and I am biased, and I'm going to admit it. It's as simple as that because <laughs> he, he done a lot for me in my career. He done he done a lot for the Republic of Ireland. The Republic of Ireland. What you've got to remember about the Republic of they are not as strong as they were ten years ago. It's as simple as that. You know, and he's having to juggle with out of form players not scoring goals and the, the likes of Long, Walters coming to the end, people like that and then blood and these young lads that are coming through like in Hurahan, Odaida, people, people like that. And he's got some a solid base there, Martin. But unfortunately he just hasn't got the players that the Republic of Ireland had ten, fifteen, twenty years ago. It's as simple as that and that's why they're struggling at the minute and you know, you can only work with what you've got. And, and at the minute, unfortunately for Martin, he is, he is struggling slightly, yeah. you know, and he needs to find some kind of quality from somewhere. But where is that quality coming from? Jerry, could you elaborate elaborate a bit, maybe what you're saying about what he did for you during his career? Because we've spoken to a lot of the players who played under him at Leicester and at Celtic, and, and everybody raves about working with Martin O'Neill on a personal level. And yeah. I don't know, it feels as though we haven't seen that side of him really with this Irish squad so far. Like, what was it about him as, as a man-manager that managed to get the best out of you at Leicester? Yeah, I think, I, I, again, you, you're going to a time now that doesn't exist in football. You know, you're going back to a time that in, in the modern game that just doesn't exist with managers. He just knew exactly how to push all the right buttons that I, I'd never had with any other manager. Simple as that. He knew how to get me to get that extra 2%, whatever it was, to get over the line, to get the team over the line. And he was the same with every single player. And and, and, and obviously he treated all the players as individuals and he had to work out who needed what, which individual needed what. But if you got over the line for him, then, you know, he made you feel, he made you feel like a million dollars. There's no doubt about it. You know, if you didn't get over the line for him, then you were a bit of dirt in the bottom of his shoe. And that's the way he worked. Simple. Everything, everything with Martin was black or white. And it is, if, if you got that bit right, you could do no wrong in his eyes. And that's, and that's how he helped me, because he made me focus on what was really important. And what was really important to him was 3 o'clock on a Saturday afternoon, the quarter to 5. Everything else in between that, I'm not saying wasn't important, but it wasn't the be all and end all. You know, a lot of a lot of coaches and managers talk about working hard on the training pitch or focusing on this and that and the other. What Martin did was make it really simplistic for everybody. This is your job. This is what I want you to do. You know, and, and this is how we win a game of football. If you do this, we will win. And more often than not, he was right. 